In this video for the members, I compare the Bitcoin ETFs, BitO to BitX. There's one that I love for cover call writing. And I'll tell you what, they both pay a monthly dividend, but one of them pays a fat dividend. We talk about it in this exclusive members video. Starting October 1st, if you were ever thinking about becoming a member and you wanted to sign up for one month, well, we're taking that away. The one month sign up will be gone October 1st and October 1st brings in new pricing. I haven't upped the price for the membership since 2019. So you have until October 1st, if you were interested to go to cpt-board.com, click upgraded dashboard and get your one free month offer. If you get your membership now, as long as you keep your membership, you'll get that price. Hey, look, I'm going to turn it over to him. He's doing a bid O, bid X comparison for the members. Stick around. I know you're going to like this one. Hey, welcome back, everyone. It is time to talk about the difference between bit O and bit X. And I'll tell you what, I use bit X, but somebody introduced me to bit O and they wanted me to talk about it. So let's go ahead and break this down. We're going to talk about ETFs that follow or track the price of Bitcoin. They both have qualities that might interest you. So first of all, you have to believe in Bitcoin. A lot of people believe Bitcoin is a risky investment. I do not. I believe Bitcoin is nothing more than a currency. It's going to be around because Wall Street and many of the governments around the world are accepting it. And we'll see what happens because uh, Bitcoin being very scarce, it's always going to be a storage of equity. And I believe that's what's going to keep Bitcoin's price higher. Because when you have scarcity and you have all these hands in the pot that want it, and they want it for legitimate reasons, not necessarily to buy a new car or buy a house, they're actually using it as an investment, very similar to gold. Just like people use gold to hedge against inflation, well, they're kind of using Bitcoin as a digital hedge against inflation because nobody can control the price of Bitcoin and they can't splash millions and millions of coins onto the market. And that's very important. Unlike Ethereum, for which they can, a Bitcoin you can't. So that structure, that Bitcoin structure is going to keep it as one of the big momentum plays. And to tell you, I just believe it's like a commodity and we're going to trade it based on momentum, supply and demand. That's it. I'm not going to be able to buy a house with Bitcoin. And I believe most businesses won't accept Bitcoin only because it's volatile, right? This is my opinion on Bitcoin. Bitcoin will move thousands of dollars per day up or down. So if you're trying to sell a car at a fixed price and somebody gives you Bitcoin for it to pay for it, right? A digital currency, they can literally accept that Bitcoin from you, turn around and Bitcoin has fallen a thousand bucks a coin. It happens every day. So that's why I believe it's not stable enough, but that's not to say it's not something that can be invested in. I absolutely believe it's a momentum play. We play it when it reaches support. And just like any other investment, when it moves higher towards resistance, uh, we look to get out of those investments. That's Bitcoin. Let's talk about BitO, BitX, because these are ETFs where the companies have gone out to buy some Bitcoin, which again is a storage of equity. They have to keep Bitcoin to keep these ETFs going. So BitO is from ProShares. It's a 1X ETF. So what that means is, it's basically moving 1x of Bitcoin. If Bitcoin moves up 1%, bit O will move up 1%. Bit X is a 2x levers ETF to the price of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin moves 1%, bit X moves 2%. And this is both up or down. This is where it starts to get interesting because you have to make a decision. And we're going to talk about this because we have volatility with bit X. It's a 2x levers ETF to Bitcoin. We have volatility with bit O, even though Bitcoin is a bit volatile, it's really not. And what we're finding is bit O for which you can write covered calls on just like bit X, their premiums are not as juicy. 
And that's because the IV in bid O is just not there. Bid X it is. So this is the decision you have to make if you want to trade Bitcoin using these ETFs. Bid O pays an incredible monthly dividend. You could see this. We have a monthly dividend. Its last dividend was a buck 21 per share, and it is monthly. Now it's about an $18 ETF. We're gonna have erosion of share price, no doubt. You can't have an $18 ETF and every single month it's pumping out a buck 50, buck 20 without this thing slowly deteriorating to where ProShares has to reverse split it so they keep it listed on the NASDAQ. So you're gonna have to deal with that. But look at that dividend, man, a buck 20. And I have looked at the charts, it does diverge from the price of Bitcoin and uh, it's starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So what's happening is Bitcoin's trading and bit O is trading with it, but the disparity between where it traded one for one, identical running in a race, identical is now not so close because every single month bit O kicks out a buck 20 in share price because they send out that dividend. Something you have to think about. Now, options, yes, Bitto has weekly, and they have volume of about 8.8 .8 million, and that's pretty good. If you did a 30-day at-the-money covered call strike, you're going to get about a dollar. So, depending how you play that, you could actually buy Bitto in between the X date. You could write a covered call, collect the one dollar. Chances are you'll keep your shares, you'll collect the buck 20, and uh, now that covered call trade represents about $2.20. Now do understand your bid shares are going to be trading minus a buck 20 or the dividend. So you are going to have to worry about that. Now on the BIDX side, for which I use, I love BIDX because it has tremendous premiums and you'll see here in a minute. I love using BIDX for the cash secure put. I love using the one week cash secure put. We could generate some very large cash secure put premium. We don't have to take ownership of the shares or at least we have more flexibility. But here's what I like about it. It does have a dividend, which surprised me. It is monthly. It's actually 62 cents. And for a $27 share price, you don't get as much erosion. I like that because Bitcoin can move higher two grand in a day. Bidex gives its dividend for 62 cents and here's Bidex running up three bucks that day. It's a crazy thing to watch. They can actually distribute that dividend and you don't even notice it because Bitcoin has made a tremendous move and BitX is gonna to move to X that. So you may not even notice that they distributed a dividend. Just like me, I didn't notice they distributed a dividend. Now options, they are weekly. Like I mentioned, their volume isn't too bad, uh, 6.3 million. And I'll tell you what, they have a lot of open interest on their options. And I believe it's because it's a 2X leverage, you get 2X the premiums. If you're gonna be an options seller, I would think that what you would do is be in bid X versus bid O. But if you're a cover call writer and a dividend collector, bid O might be the one you wanna go with. But for me, it's bid X because look at that 30 day at the money cover call strike. We could get $3.30. We buy the shares, $3.30. The ETF is trading for 27. You're getting over 10% on your money. Now you say to yourself, well, boy, that seems like a risky investment. Just remember it trades 2X Bitcoin. If you think Bitcoin is risky, then yeah, you should not be in it. But if you don't think Bitcoin is risky, then I'm just gonna go ahead and play the volatility of bid X. You might wanna collect that fat dividend from bid O and write that nice little cover call where you collect the buck. Hey, you can go either way with this. This is the breakdown between bid O and bid X. And if you pulled up the chart on either one of these, they track Bitcoin. That's what they do. Bid O is gonna track at about one X and bid X is gonna track at about two X. So you're gonna see that they pretty much follow Bitcoin. Now, one of the things I'm trying to show you at the membership is, we wanna get involved when Bitcoin is trading near the bottom of support, which is around 54,000 to 55,000 a coin. That's when we wanna get involved with these. And uh, quite frankly, we have. Let me show you my BitX trades, uh, just so you could see. BitX, if Bitcoin is trading in and around 54,000, 55,000 a coin, typically trades at 22.23. So notice what I've done. 
I've used the cash secure put in most cases. And you can see the red here identifies the cash secure put. And what I've done is I pretty much use, for the most part, that mid-20 strike. So Bitcoin did have a run into the 60,000s. And I found myself a little high, but I learned from that. And now what you see is I'm using that 22 to 24 strike and we're doing it more frequently because Bitcoin right now is trading in and around 56,000 to 59,000. So that puts BitX in and around 26, 27. So if you're going to use BitX for a cash secure put and you don't want to be assigned the shares, you might want to try that BitX 23, 22 strike. Now BitO, you can look at it, it's an $18 stock. That too, you're gonna look at about the 16 strike. Doesn't have as much volatility. So if you're picking a $2 out of the money cash secure put, you're not gonna make as much as BidX. Please do not be seduced by the high premiums that BidX uses if you're not prepared for the 2X levers ETF moves this thing can do. You will absolutely feel the pain if you get involved with BidX at say 29 and next thing you know, it's trading for 23 and you don't know why. That's why I'm doing this video. You could easily play Bitcoin by using BidO, collect a little bit of a dividend along the way and write a decent 30 day covered call. Which one will you use? If you're gonna trade Bitcoin, which one will you use? I'm using BidX for now and I absolutely love it. Hey, look, I'm going to leave it right there. Be safe, be healthy, most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable.